Um, so we also see this then at the level of we see this at the level um, the level of cities where uh, the sensing the sensor arrays and the means by which urban systems sense and respond to what's going on with them. This is also a model of artificial intelligence and one that is not based on the singular mind, uh, the way we think about intelligence for humans, but is more like a, a landscape, a forest or a jungle where lots of little intelligences act together to add up to something much bigger. So we would recognize then that intelligence and knowledge is always distributed among many different forms of life. Some of them similar, some of them dissimilar, and that no single neuroanatomical disposition uh, has a monopoly on this. That humans are not the center or the norm of intelligence. We are certainly amazing in our sapience, but we are not necessarily, uh, we're not necessarily the norm. Another way to think about this is there's lots of ways in which entities that, that also that, that the AI is very much dependent on how it senses the world. When we talk of machine vision uh, and machine sensing and machine separation, this is another way in which we can think of uh, artificial intelligence as an embodied physical material phenomenon, not a uh, a metaphysical, uh, a metaphysical phenomenon. 